then this one, I'll give, I'm giving you a little sample because she's making a quesadilla for you. Oh, thank you. So this is just a little sample. This is uh, Roma tomatoes, roasted garlic. Everything's roasted. So the roast, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a squeeze of lime, and then maybe a couple drops of that. And then you make your taco, the freshly made tortillas there. And then she made you a sample, a little mini quesadilla. So this is cheese. And then this again, you said five, five, six hours. You roast it. It's steamed for about five, five to six hours. Steam with kosher salt only. And then we marinate it in a red mole, so it's like a Mexican barbecue. And once it comes out of the oven, we plate it and we put the tomato based consomme. This consomme here is totally vegan. It's only tomato and spices. And then the sauce is your sauce. Yes, here? This, that's our sauce. We make it fresh every day, and it's made with our old chilies. And it has about a, uh, I don't know if it's 10 or 11 uh, spices. My son Jonathan developed a hot sauce. He said for our 10th year anniversary. Uh, chowder Fest? Chowder Fest tonight. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, so my son developed a hot sauce for our 10th anniversary. Oh, yeah. So this is yours? Yes. And then and this he, one. He does this. This one and this one is basically the same ingredients with the exception that. This one has um, chocolate de abuelita, which is the Mexican chapo. And instead of using vinegar as a preservative, he used fermented grapefruit. So he fermented the grapefruit first to get it added. Yes, but they added habanero chilies mm -hmm. to spice it up a little more, and then the chocolate. So, so it has like richer, and it has a slight sweet flavor because of the chocolate, the cocoa. edges it becomes a little ashy then she flips it the first time and then when the second side cooks completely then she flips it for a ter third time and kind of presses it and it has to inflate if it doesn't inflate then it's not pliable yeah so you'll see so it takes about uh, well on Sundays I'm how much and then I'll say fueron 300 más los que sobraron no, 300 pounds plus pounds. 60. You mean 4,000? 4,000. How do you say 4,000? 4,000. Did you see it? I'm going to let you taste this one. Okay. You see a small shaker over there? Just one on top. Okay, get it? Okay. Hold on, hold What you do is you spread it with salt. And then burrito. Burrito. Little ducky, or some people call it ranitas, ranitas. little little frogs. So this is what they give the children, the small children, to appease their hunger. When do they do grandmas? That? Oh, just while they're making dinner while they're cooking. And believe it or not, straight off the grill with a little salt, the flavor people have said it tastes a little bit like a pretzel. You've never had. Them. Okay, so what this is what the grandmas do. different flavor right <laughs> so that's what grandmas do to calm your hunger mm. it's like the dough reactivates right and it's soft like a donut exactly. but it's a little bit antsy here mm -hmm. we always give them burritos oh, yeah, yeah. yeah she's from the same state i am so in her so what do they call this 